Hi, this is Alan Delzo with AWC. I'm here today to talk to you about the Siemens CMS 1200 condition monitoring system. We put a demo together to, to kind of show the high points of it. And it's the uh, cost effective way of measuring vibration and condition monitoring. So we have our, what we have here is an S7 1200 uh, system hooked up to a VFD, a Siemens VFD and a motor that's simulating a rotating device you may have out there as far as pumps, fans, anything that's critical that you'd want to monitor. So we have uh, two different sensors. We have a 4 to 20 milliamp. It's a little more cost effective going back to a uh, 4 to 20 milliamp input card on an S7-1200. And then we also have the 0 to 5 volt IEP sensor that goes into our condition monitoring module where it's a coprocessor that does uh, in-depth online diagnostics and monitoring. So it, both those are connected back to this control box. We have an ancient buy on the outside. It pretty much shows what an operator would see when he's operating. So this is simulating the operator screen. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and start the motor, I'm ramping up to about 63%. I see my amperage coming across, uh, some motor current and speed. Uh, I have an imbalance load right now. So right now I'm getting an alarm on the 4 to 20 milliamp over here, and I'm getting a full alarm also from our CMS module. So at this point, the operator would stop the motor, call over a technician to take a look at this and see what the actual issue is. We know we have a problem, we just don't know what's causing it. As a maintenance technician or vibration analyst, I may get alerted that I have an issue with this machine from the operator from a remote alarming. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is log in to the web server. It's the built into the 1281 module. And I can go in through any, any web browser. Uh, there's no programming on here. I just need to log in and I've already logged in so we can skip that part. But um, looking at the, the home screen here, it's already showing active warnings and active alarms. I can look at the actual values and I see I have some warnings and alarms here. I see the yellow and red that's indicating there's an issue. So I know I have an issue now. I want to dive in and see if I can figure out what the actual cause is. So I'm going to look at the frequency spectrum and I'm going to change these pins around. Just let's look at the velocity of the, on the first sensor there that we have the latest. So I can go ahead and update that and we'll take a look and what the frequency spectrum looks like. These are the base speed. This is 1x, 2x, 3x. I'll turn that off so you can see it. Okay, this is my cursor. I have a peak here. It's pretty bad. From my experience, I know that's bad, but what I can also do is look at a fingerprint that I took last year. I took one sometime, uh, there it is, on um, last January of the same machine at same speed. So let me go ahead and update the chart. It's going to be in green. It's a little hard to see the green because the blue overlays it over top of it so I'm gonna do a quick zoom with this lasso mode I'm zooming in okay I can see my peak from when it was good that's green and that was right around 0.144 I have this blue one that's overshadowing it Let me do the panning mode show you how much more that is all the way to the top here shows up at oh it's gonna be over five it looks like so I'm gonna put my cursor on there it tells me it's 4.8 um, I'm going to go ahead and reset zoom, and then I'm going to turn my speed cursor on. So when you have an imbalance right here at the very first base speed, that tells you textbook wall chart that you have an imbalance. And uh, indeed, we have a pretty bad imbalance. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the motor, see if I can fix the imbalance and get this thing going. So not only have I figured out that I have a problem, now I know where it also it's coming from.